So the figure's only been in for a few moments, but I'm, I'm you know, very happy with the way that he's, he's looking here. You never quite know <clears throat> how a piece is going to look, you know, when it comes out of the studio and into its, into its final location. But, um, you know, it's such a, um, not Domino, it's such a formal space, this courtyard. Um, so I've wanted ever since the first figure came in, I've been keen, as you know, to get the, his, his, his alter ego. This is one of those great momentous days for Radley. Sean has been so kind to invite Radley to his workshop, to his home, to his studio. A spectacular day for Radley to have this piece of work about to be sighted in Peyton's quad that I'm sure will form part of the history of Radley in years to come. How he's presented in comparison to the other sculpture um, is such like a different. There's such a difference between them, and this one's kind of like uh, so bold and almost um, threatening in a way in comparison to the other sculpture, which um, is completely opposite. I mean, this one he's portrayed um, obviously standing in comparison to the dreamlike state of the other sculpture and um, obviously that sculpture has the colours on it, uh, much lighter and brighter colours in comparison to this one's kind of dark uh, donkey jacket and that, I think that kind of says a lot about him as a person and how he's looking um, to this dreamlike state that he almost can't be in and he's kind of stuck in his kind of rough world right now.